Hello, it's Atharil here, and today we are back with our Crusader Kings 2 game for the Nan Bu clan in the Sengoku Jedi era for Japan. We have been steadily, pretty, well, very, actually, quickly, stead, you know, expanding to the south when, our, unfortunately, our original Dai Daimyo Yasu Nabu has unfortunately passed away and passed it on to his grandson, Nabu Yasu. So I swapped, you know, half of the names around there. Nice little, you know, continuity one with those and everything. And so this guy is basically, he's got a couple of plans. You know, he's originally, you know, he's moving south at the minute. He's going to take a little bit of land down to the south. And while at the same time looking at, you know, a lot of stuff as always going on with the actual, you know, the factions and council and everything like that trying to make sure that we're balancing them expand our lands and also as well he does have the goal his initial goal is very much going to be to try and move to the west the reason why i want to move to the west is with the intention basically of going to those right so you know there's you know a lot of stuff going on we want to try and reduce our potential borders with other people as much as possible and that way as we're pushing further south if we do have that one strip border you know that allows us to have a lot more room to be able to push and we're only having to focus on one border rather than potentially maybe having to focus around two you know as we've got sort of a southern border and a western border as well makes things just a little bit safer you know and a bit more solid for us and everything going forward that's going to be certainly the plan we will see how that one turns out in you know the coming episodes so here we're just looking at getting everything set back up as the new ruler of the you know nambu clan we've got a lot to you know offer to the world and we've got also as well a lot of options for where to go we are going pretty well with Awai uh, I always wonder how it's pronounced them and everything like that and so you know we're going to look at trying to to expand further into these lands take these guys pretty easily you know they are only a kukujin and we are a dai daimyo so we are a lot stronger than them we have a lot more lands and you know i'd like to think that we are somebody who now is becoming a bit more of a you know important player in the actual world of the shogun and of japan and we are somebody who hopefully is going to have a very very decent shot at that title of shogun which is the coveted one that let's be honest everybody in japan is actually after and so here we're just taking these guys down pretty quickly they do seem to be making one last ditch attempt to try and besiege some of our lands but that is not something that we are going to allow not now not ever it's just you know it's not going to happen they don't stand a chance i mean they can keep but they are besieging us and they likely would be able to besiege us and successfully do it as well however for the minute we are going to you know we're just going to keep up with our plans of trying to take them and then we'll turn around and we'll deal with those if we do have to if this doesn't cause a full war score from taking all of their lands which i believe it should be and then you know that will completely remove that potential issue of having to go and fight in another battle but well like i said we'll see how that goes so you know here we're just having a look at everything setting up here as mentioned as well the council yet again does seem to be less than thrilled with us the you know council there so what we're going to have to do is we're looking at trying to find ways to be able to reduce that faction down and also as well to hopefully be able to maybe give them a little bit of power to appease them but not give them the power quite that they want we don't want them to be getting too many of the big ones you know like the you know ability to decide who i give titles to that's certainly not something that we want them to give you know something like the um revoke revocation uh, of titles you know that's one that wouldn't mind giving because i don't tend to really revoke very many titles and the only people i would just revoke titles from are people that are actually a genuine threat to us so you know they are somebody that we will you know have to consider looking at doing there's a lot of guys here who are you know they're they're, they're not thrilled about us but they're also they don't hate us so you know that's not the complete end of the world you know there are a fair few options we can still do for these so do hand out a lot of minor titles you know in the courts and everything that just does help boost up their opinion of us just a little bit and hopefully just enough to get them to leave out that faction got me look you know as i've been playing this more that the faction options in this game are really really very nice and they are very very good to get to do i'm really enjoying them and i think they work really well it is very nice to get to see as well that little bit more logical sense of how it is that you know the rulers councils and things like that did actually work in the medieval sort of setting 
you know, the idea being that originally the king had pretty much complete power. He then, you know, would get, you know, advisors who were experts in certain areas and fields. And, you, you know, could then help him and advise him on what would be the best course of action. But it was always ultimately up to him. And then following on from that, you know, to reward them, he would then give them extra lands. And then using that extra lands down the lines, they basically became powerful enough to be able to start making small demands. Those small demands continued to grow and they continue to be able to get more and more power from the actual out from under the throne in effect and causes a balance for say a mad king wanting to do anything he had to go and eventually it went from him asking them for their advice to make his own decisions to eventually it naturally moving on to a case where he had to go and ask them permission to go and do anything which if anybody does you know uh, you recognize that that is pretty much where our modern ideals of you know westernized democracy does come from that idea of the initial king's councils then into in for example say here in england the house of lords did stem from that and then from the house of lords obviously did stem the house of commons so you know it is a nice way of doing things and it makes things certainly a lot more natural you know for the actual game itself and it's appropriate for the setting and the actual style of medieval politics and how it did work which is you know been a really nice feature and i am really increasingly enjoying having that with it and as well it does mean they do less factions for independence which is also as well or is a really really good idea to get to do here as well you will see that i am moving steadily further to the west the west basically as i mentioned earlier is to try and shore up my actual borders and so basically the plan here though what we are going to do is we're going to look at trying to take as many lands as possible well, there is also as well a guy over here, a Kokujin, who I do actually quite like the look of. Um, it's the Yamamoto guy. He has the largest land in the Ugo province area. And so basically what my plan I think is going to be and the idea that I do have is I'm going to try and get him to basically like me as much as he possibly can. And then once he likes me as much as he possibly can, I am then going to basically try and claim all the areas around him get to being the daimyo of ugo so i am his de jure lord and then offer him vassalization that seems a bit of a you know long winded way of doing it i could just attack him and bring him under my control and everything like that however these guys that i'm currently having to subjugate to be able to do that are going to keep their actual lands they just now pay me serves as their lord and so they are not going to be happy about that they aren't going you know they don't want me as their ruler they were an independent faction they don't want me as their ruler in any sense of the word really i'm you know a foreigner basically and things like that so what we are going to do here is look at this guy i mean it's a guy they don't most people don't really want me to attack so what i'm going to do is attack around them bring this guy in as a vassal and then i'm going to plan to grant him the title of the daimyo of ugo so what's that that is then going to do all those guys who i've managed to claim and who aren't happy with me are now classed as his vassals it'll then be his job to make sure that he keeps them nice and happy to be able to still you know bring in money for himself and then he will be happy with me because he has willingly came on board to the nambu clan and also as well we have managed to massively increase his power and further his you know gains and his goals in the actual area of the northern japan anyway so you know it's a win-win pretty much situation basically he's getting more land he's getting more power and more wealth and he is also getting security of having me a larger lord as his liege lord we are also as well getting the advantage of basically meaning that he is now going to control the area for us in our name he has to deal with any potential revolts things like that before we do he has got an easy job and an easier ability to be able to hopefully keep them all nice and happy with himself so that's basically the plan of how everything's going to go in there as well we will see how that one to go in future episodes so i'm going to leave it there for today though and going to skip ahead a little bit of time after this one so thank you very much for watching i've been atharl here at egn as always if you do enjoy the videos do be sure to hit that subscribe button for notifications for when and as new videos come out and i shall see you next time here at egn